In the city of Josie, where the Nelson Mandela Bridge is seen as one of the pinnacle sites, lives a culture of graffiti. Graffiti is a type of visual communication that is frequently illegal and involves an individual or group unauthorizedly marking public space. Although the usual picture of graffiti is a street gang member spray painting a stylized symbol or message on a wall, some graffiti is not gang related. Graffiti can be interpreted as antisocial behavior done to attract attention or as a sort of adrenaline seeking, but it can also be interpreted as an expressive art form. You'll see works by well-known street artists as well as newcomers, commissioned walls as well as illegally painted ones. Graffiti artists have left their stamp on the walls of Newtown. When you walk beneath the freeway bridges, the colourfully clad columns are immediately noticed. The City of Gold and Back to the City festivals are annual gatherings of artists who are invited to leave their imprints on the pillars beneath the highway in Newtown. Over the years, graffiti has shifted from plain symbol writing with spray cans to expressive and detailed art as seen on this pillar, which brings the conversation to how widespread this art form has gone and the freedom of graffiti being explored. President Thabo Mbeki established Mary Fitzgerald Square in 2000. It is a public space in front of the Museum of Africa that hosts public events, performances and gatherings. This includes events such as festivals, markets, exhibitions and the graffiti art displayed on these pillars bring the whole space to life. Still in Newtown, the dominating graffiti shown is based around the theme of music. Most graffiti artists draw their inspiration from music and often create graffiti artworks whilst listening to music themselves. Famous musicians, instrument players and African singers like Busim Songo are interpreted in these forms of expressive graffiti with attention to detail and subtle bursts of colour outline the direction of how these art pieces were formed. Mr. Exe is a graffiti artist whose artwork is well known in the graffiti community. As you can see, he spray painted the late young up-and-coming artist Kanya Hadebe better known as the voice who died in a car accident, as a tribute to him. Graffiti can be found anywhere from glass barriers, trains and steel poles that hold up Nelson Mandela Bridge. In the history of Johannesburg, one can explore and tap into some of the city's diverse cultures deeply rooted in the arts. One can only imagine what the future of graffiti as an art giant has in store.